Let's be with your wonder You held my future in your end So, wherever you roam That's where And I'm filming my beautiful wife, Lexis. Sorry about the plain walls in the background. We just had that area right there painted. We're going to update you guys on that. We have another video. All right. So we're doing a... Go ahead, babe. We're doing a tray haul. We're going to see Trey tomorrow. So even though we just stocked up on groceries, we have some other stuff that we got for him. We did a haul for his groceries too? No. Mind you, we just sent him home on the... Uh, home. That is his new home. His, home, his, his, home. his home away from home. He was home home on the 12th of October. And he um, got stocked up on groceries. We're going to see him tomorrow. I'm so very sad because it's family, family friend weekend. And I can't do the activities because it's hard for me to walk it. I'm in so much pain. But we are going to drop off some things to him. So the wife's going to show you what we picked up for the boy. So, first bag, well, we, I'm going to show you this, guys. Babe showed you guys that she was doing treat bags, so we're not going to see him on Halloween, so we got treat bags for him and his roommate. I'm only showing y'all that first because I need the table. So, we got him. He is in upstate, so it's colder there than it is here now. So, we got him some socks. Definitely gonna need that. And he's been asking for it. Yeah. Alright. Got some little snacks. His favorite. Chips. Some brownies. Cosmo brownies. Cosmic. Those Cosmo. are his those two things are his what? Favorites. <laughs> the only thing we're missing is cotton candy. Trey liked to talk a lot, so of course they had to get him some gum. They show that breath not tart. <laughs> like we did say we get it's cold up there, so I went ahead and got him a beanie and some gloves. Of course he needs hygiene stuff, so we got toothpaste and my wash. And mind you, we just did a haul for him again with hygiene products. So I wonder if he's giving his stuff away. <laughs> um, your boy asked for a Christmas tree for his dorm room. What size Christmas tree? A regular size Christmas tree. Seven feet. So we got the tree in the car. Was no need to take it out and bring it in here to bring it, took it back to the car. So. Um, when we went grocery shopping today, this was all the stuff that we had for our house and him. So that's how we sorted it. But the tree just stayed in the car. So we got him Christmas, what is this thing? Stocking for his door, for their door. Got him a tree skirt. And a Christmas tree topper. for his ornaments and Ziploc bags so they won't get lost. And we have other ornaments, but they're in the car and it's cold and it's raining, so they're just balls. Those are the ornament bulbs or whatever. So, I forgot what this theme is. He, he likes the, like the, not the mossy oak, but like the, um, rustic. the rustic type thing. theme. That's what he asked for him and his roommate. So we got these ornaments. We got about six or eight of these. Mm -hmm. Let's get some more of these. Oh, yeah. Just some more of those. And a little leaf thing. We got two of these. Let's get a turn around.
Now, mind you, this is the things that he asked for, him and his roommate, but I'm the extra one. Mm. Hmm. And the little, what is this? Deer head? Yeah. Antler head, okay. deer head. So, yeah. I got two of those. And we just got some command stuff. That was all of the Christmas stuff. So, we got more stuff from Target. This is another of his favorites, which is the kettle corn. So, maybe I got him some kettle corn. Um, he already has what is it, a Renews It mm -hmm. in his room, so we just did some refillables. They packed his picture. He has wash and uh, laundry detergent in the car. Game. And we got um, sheets, dry sheets to go with that. And he requested light to add the rest of his pictures, so we got him some more light. And that is it for the haul. Everything else is everything else that we're taking are his winter clothes. So we didn't buy those, so there's no need to. Yeah, there's nothing new. And then, but that is it for the haul, guys. Go ahead, Beth. And another thing, don't worry. Next year, the only thing we're going to be doing is a supplies haul. Because all this stuff that he's, he has this year will be going back in that room when? Next year. The only thing he might get new is what? New comforter and sheet? And that's the Navy. He has a lot of stuff. So much stuff. And next year, we're really excited because he's going to be in a suite. So he'll have his own sleeping space. And it'll be four of them that share the living area. Is that how it goes? Mm -hmm. I'm really excited because I'm going to put a desktop in there and everything. So I'm really excited for him to have his own space. So that's it for the haul, guys. We'll see you guys in our next vlog. Which is probably about 4.30 a.m. when we get on the road. <laughs> Bye, y'all. this morning we did not check in um it only took us an hour and a half to get here um basically we took trey to get breakfast and to get his hair cut he's taking up his stuff to his room and we're gonna drive him where he needs to be for his um scholarship thing so we sitting here we missed the first girl first girl come out now the dorm that the boys stay in is co-ed the first floor is the girl's floor. And the first and second. First and second. Well, I don't know it's first where the, the second floor come in at. Because when we go up the stairs, we go straight to the third floor. So, I don't know. But this girl does not stay in this dorm. And she came out here with a whole hoodie on. And it looked like some draws. Sneaking back to her dorm from the boys. And don't ask me how I know she was in the boys' dorm. Because, listen... She was looking back. She might have thought I was her mama walking up in the cousin. When she looked back and saw us, the expression on her face, I was going to stop her and ask her where the hell she was. Excuse my language. But these kids, you know, at HBCUs, freshmen don't can't be in one another's dorms. And at here, the she boy... Means co -ed. I mean, co-ed. Um, here... The boy and girl's dorms are right back to back, and the dorms are co-ed. And they're allowed to have boys and girls in their room. Sleeping overnight. I don't know if they're supposed to be sleeping overnight, but the thing on the thing say visitors to 1 a.m. But from what I was told, that some of the girls be spending the night with their boyfriends. 
So they know what you know what they say. We'll see what's going on in the springtime. <laughs> <laughs> um, when Trey first started, Trey told us that it's one of the dorms. It's one of the rooms that we will always see with a light on. When we came out, and Trey said that the boy said, "When y'all see the red light on, y'all know what that means." So, and every time we pass here and come out of his dorm room, that red light be on. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm waiting for him to come back down now, take him where he needs to go. And we're getting back on the road, guys. Yeah, so um, we'll check back in.